Now race number nine, the penultimate race on the card, and it's the Nathan Handicap, 1650 metres and class three. So this is the final race on the all-weather track for the day. And uh, it's plenty of nice horses in form in this. Kobe Opper having his second run over the longer trip, and he put in a decent effort behind Mongolian legend, who does carry Saddlecloth 7. Volpino, holy heart up in distance. Owner Star won three back at the Valley. Last Kingdom. I'm not sure what's going to happen with him early. I think from five they'll try and have him close, but without overdoing it. Chunghua Spirit drawn barrier number 12, pacifies back on, Dealmaker's drawn off the track and so too is General Dino and they both finished second and third last start behind Mongolian Legend. Endearing Mongolian Legend, Chunghua Spirit and Dealmaker back to Chun Fa in the last 30 days. That's their movement. Now, speed map. Short run to the first bend here, Tom. Yeah, I think I think Beauty Icon will go forward again. They went forward with him last time out. He was relatively handy. Deal maker to uh, come across from gate 14. Holy Heart there uh, trying him 16.50 here. He's got form over 1,600 in the UK. They might ride him a bit more further forward here. Now, last kingdom, they tried to take a sit with him last time out. He got keen. He gets keen when he leads, so that happened again last time with him. You can see uh, endearing an owner's star on the three-wide train. Oda Star, there he is. He goes nicely in his uh, track work here this morning. He hasn't really, really performed on the all-weather to date, but his work's been pretty good on it, so you can see see him there going nicely enough. His win did come at Happy Valley. General Dino's run was enormous last time. He was wide the whole way, and uh, he still ran on really nicely and looked at winning charts just about. Yeah, he made a good case for him too on Racing to Win. Yeah, and he's come out of that race all right. Shocking well. barrier draw again. Mm. Yeah. What price was he? He was... Uh, 52 to 1. 10 a place. Night. Yeah, it was a good tipping. Um, enduring. Now, he's taken a little bit of time this season to notch up a win. In fact, he hasn't yet. His four starts, he's had a couple of seconds, but he's been very competitive. And holy heart, Tom, this is the one that you like going up in trip. Yeah, he was good uh, last weekend on the all-weather. This was the, the run that uh, got me into him at last start um, on Endearing. I'm not really sure where he ends up from gate number nine. The blinkers are coming off. The pacifiers of the cows are being reapplied. He's had a trial up at Chung Fa coming into this as well, and he was pushed, and it was gate nine that concerned me. That was Holy Heart two runs ago running on. All right, well, let's now go to Vincent Ho, who will be putting the polish on Holy Heart, talking with Edward Sadler. Vincent Holy Hart, you've ridden him at his last couple of starts. Is he an improving type of horse looking at him? Yeah, definitely. And he ran very well last start, uh, which is just a week ago. Um, personally, I think he can win 1,200 if he got a better draw uh, and step up to 1,650, which is, he's still young, you know. Uh, he's still got plenty to improve. Um, hopefully he'll recover from last run and uh, handle 16.50 okay. Is he the type of horse that can handle a, a quick backup like this? Um, I think he can because he galloped well this morning. Uh, I don't feel much difference. Um, the gallops today and the time before his run. So. Um, I think he, he recovered very fast. Um, he had a tough run last run as well, uh, outside and came home strong. But 16.50 also shoots him. Uh, we'll see, draw eight. Uh, we'll see how, how the race and the pace pan out. You know. He was getting back and finishing off well um, over 1,200 metres last week. 16.50, could he be close or is he a, a hold up horse? Uh, I don't think I'll give him too much pressure early on. Uh, just find his fit, you know. Uh, if he if he breathes right, right and relax well, he, he'll finish strong for sure. All right, where are you envisaging him, Tom, in the run? Yeah, well, I thought maybe a little bit handier, but Vincent Ho indicating there that may just let him find his feet and do his own thing and run on at the end. It was a gallant effort last time out because he was caught wide and he only just missed to second placing. So I think he goes closer. He's got form over the 1,600 in the UK, two wins and two placings. Let's look at Mongolian legend who got up to score here for Alex Lai, Dealmaker, General Dino, Kobe Opa, Volpino, all ran good races. Yeah, there was nothing much between the whole field here, as you can see, as they... They came down, it was a funny race, this, this one, and 
the horses that were wide, they ended up uh, coming up, coming in winning, and running first and uh, first and third anyway. The one inside deal maker ran second. So look, I'm giving all these horses a chance. I thought Mongolian legend had his birthday the end of the stay though, because he did have mm. the race totally run to suit. Beauty Icon got checked up there late in the piece. I actually didn't mind the run from Owner's Star finishing off on the inside there. I've included him for a, oh, a back end. I thought the run of Volpino was terrific. Mm. I know he's done that a few times, sort of been closing in like he's going to win, but. I think he gets another good opportunity here, Volpino. And in folding, took an eternity to finally break through for win number one at start 17. We've seen it before in the past. It's almost like a broken record, really, when they take so long to win one. They often come out and win two. It's a tougher opposition, but he's fit and well. Yeah, lightweight, up and grade, good draw, barrier three for him. I, I found a spot for him. I thought he's, he's consistent, if anything, mm. this horse. Mm. I, I left him out in the end, but wouldn't surprise me if he does does go back to back, up in grade lightweight, as Paul said, and Sylvester's so is a good draw. Yeah, it's about counting up the, the ticks against the crosses here, yeah. and most of them have got a few ticks, and most of them have got a few crosses too, Paul. They definitely have. I'm going to go with General Dino. I just thought it was a really strong run back up to 1650, and he's got such a good record over this distance. He comes in with a lightweight. He showed he's up to this grade. He's drawn awkward again. Joe Marrera jump aboard here for the first time as well, but look, I think uh, he can win this race from Holy Heart. Up to 16.50, dealmaker's consistent as is unfolding. 14, 6, 11 and 13. Thought we might get it each way price about the 14. Right, I'm settling with uh, Holy Heart on top, uh, backing up from uh, last Sunday, uh, or last Saturday I should say, and uh, going close to a second placing was a really good run from him after being caught wide. So he's on top. Kobe Oppa, he didn't disgrace himself first up 16.50. I think he can be there. He wasn't far away uh, last start. I've got dealmaker and, and owner's star, but I could have made a case with for Volpino, uh, owner's star I've mentioned there, um, even in folding General Dino, there's a whole lot of chances in that race. There are. Yeah, I'm, I'll go with Volpino and then working around those off the lightweights for the miners. But uh, a tough one, race number nine. One to look at, that is race ten. And the best bets to follow, that's all coming up on the other side of this break.